The Wii U is clearly in trouble. Nintendo failed to come within striking distance of its lofty marketing projections, third-party developers are few and far between, and even a big, well-reviewed Mario game failed to jumpstart sales. It's bad news for the big end, so bad in fact that people are already beginning to speculate about Nintendo's next console. Now whatever Nintendo's next box is, it won't be out for a while, but this hasn't stopped the rumor mill from churning. Most recently, Nintendo News, the website, claims to have gotten its hands on the specs for this new console console, which will supposedly be called the Fusion. It should all be taken with a massive heaping of salt though, as even Nintendo itself probably hasn't finalized any of this. Now, the idea of a fusion concept that bridges the gap between Nintendo's handheld and home consoles is right in line with what we've heard in the past. It would allow Nintendo to parlay some of its continued handheld success into a broader market, and their CEO hinted the company was working on something like that last year. Now, as Sosoru Iwashi himself said, in terms of our platform integration, as I explained to you a short while ago, we are not saying that we are planning to integrate our platforms into one. What we are saying is that we would like to integrate software development methods, operating systems, and built-in software and software assets for each platform so that we can use them across different machines. This means that if we manage to integrate our platforms successfully, we may in fact be able to make more platforms. It's not in, unlike what Sony is actually trying to do with the Vita and the PS4, two machines that are meant to coexist in a tightly bound hardware ecosystem. However, it would probably work in reverse for Nintendo, where the Vita is designed to play second fiddle to the PS4, the main Nintendo console might be the one to benefit most from the company's increased handheld visibility. Anyways, the entire set of specs for the upcoming rumored fusion have actually been leaked, so let me go ahead and go over a couple of specs, rumored specs, remember that for now, about Nintendo's fusion console. Now supposedly, it will have an ARM V8A Cortex CPU, a custom Adreno 420 based AMD GPU, 3GB of LDDR3 RAM, uh, two capacitive touchscreens, a slide out design with a custom swivel tilt hinge, an upper screen mounted with Gorilla Glass that would come with a magnetic cover, low end vibration, two motorized circle pads, a thumbprint security sensor, two cameras, a multi array microphone, all the classic buttons, an NFC reader, a 3G chip, 16 gigabytes of internal flash storage, a 3DS card slot, and much more. Now, I'm not sure whether we're actually going to be seeing a console like this, this Nintendo Fusion, but it is clear that Nintendo does need to do something to appeal to the more mobile market for gaming that's actually here in 2014. Nintendo does need to get used to the idea that people are starting to buy not dedicated platforms for playing their games on, but they're instead buying them for their smartphones and tablets. Maybe Nintendo doesn't need to release their games for mobile devices, but if they could release maybe a console or a handheld that was also maybe a mobile device, that might actually help the company. Now what do you think about this rumor? Do you think it has any plausibility? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!